Okay. Mm -hmm. So again, you still say it's not public spot. Ain't mine either. Ain't mine either. Now, mm -hmm. and, 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 again, and, whose fault is it that the rains, the asphalt swamp, <sighs> did suddenly the oil slick, whatever it was, slippery substance, when it was raining, come out of the surface? When my foot hit it at the exact time, and it slipped up, <laughs> and I land on my left knee again, like in the other store, which I can no longer mention. Yes, yes. Yeah. <laughs> so why is it you think? <laughs> okay, if I can get a settlement from one store, I can't get a settlement from another store when the same exact thing happened, moron. Why do you think, if it took me longer to recover as well, <laughs> all right, and I'm having, I'm doing the cheapest thing I can do, which is massage therapy, right? <laughs> <clears throat> Why do you think I'm not entitled to that back? <laughs> and do I give a fuck? No. <laughs> Why do I care about your opinion? <laughs> Is your opinion going to stop me if I'm going to put in the suit against public? No, I already have. I already have. Now, since it's a small claim, okay, the most the um, appointments cost me is $73 if I did it for just an hour. <laughs> It could be $30, which is the cheapest, or up to two hours, which is $120, which is the longest. Now, I've done it all over the place. I've done it 90 minutes, I've done it 30 minutes, I've done it 45. Okay, do you understand? I'm treating the injury. <laughs> On the asphalt road that's adjacent to the public. Do I give a fuck about your opinion? No. Will I ever know? Do you give a fuck about mine? No. What of it? <laughs> right? Now, I'm having belly issues in my stomach. I just ate. And I'm feeling queasy. <laughs> Like something's wrong with my stomach. Could it be all the medication I'm suddenly taking? I don't know. My right eye's pussing up again. Can you see it? You just puss in it. Right. <clears throat> don't know why that's happening either. <sighs> but it all happened since I fell. In the Navy. Wasn't even this bad as the fucking car wreck. Even. But it's not all the Navy's fault either, is it? Whose fault is it then? Mine again for wanting to go out. Mine again for someone stealing the money. From the room by morning. <laughs> it's not like the thief can suddenly grow wings and become an angel and admit he did it now, can he? <laughs> because the money was missing by morning right. and the key in the was found in the room. Someone obviously knew the money was in there. <laughs> it was gone by morning. We're talking $250. For me to go to the buffet, find me another woman and have sex with her in the hotel room. Right. If she so was inclined. Right. Now, I also could have just went out to the buffet, go to the movie, and then come out. Right. Or whatever. Right. Or go back to the base. Right. 
or just spend the night alone in the room just to get out of place for a night. I have options. When I left the room and closed the money up with my wallet and ID in the room. Once I did that, though, all bets were off. Until I came back to the room and suddenly the key, which I could have sworn I put in the travel bag, was this. I know. Now, how many times before that, without the money, would I have showered since I broke up with Stephanie and moved back to bed? Right. Over 20. <laughs> Even if I showered every other day, <laughs> that's 10. That's 10. So I was in the habit of going down to the bathroom area of, again, <laughs> the barracks I was sleeping in. And by that time, I knew the routine to take a shower was I had to go down there, get all lathered up, <laughs> Leave my travel bag somewhat guarded but unguarded, right? <laughs> I could put it on the seat or whatever, right? Which would leave someone an opportunity to what? Still the key, still the key. <laughs> once they stole the key, once the key did not turn up with me when I went back to the room, right? Okay, all bets were off. I had to get back in the room. I know someone stole the key, right? Hello? Hello? Ain't that how you do things? <clears throat> when again, you find your key missing, you know everything else is in the room, right? You don't have no other choice but to proceed to hope they have a master key and you can get into the room some other way. <clears throat> and that's the first thing you hope the Navy made sure of since it put its sight faces on the third floor. <laughs> Which is also not a good idea if it's a three-story building the highest floor <laughs> in the building put the sight faces on. <laughs> That's a little bit crazy shit, right? <laughs> no one does that normally either. <laughs> but our Navy did. Our Navy did in 94. <laughs> <laughs> They put all the sight patients on the third floor. <laughs> and things of that nature. <laughs> now. After that. <laughs> you first see if there's a key. We get back into the room. What's called a master key. Or a spare key. Or even a skeleton key. Which is supposed to be used to open... All the other rooms in case you're locked out, right? Because once you're locked out, <laughs> you're what? Without a spare key. Out. Out. Now, the only way, even with my house, is if I can break out. <laughs> and I'm out the house, right? <laughs> I'm locked out my own house accidentally. I got the same problem, right? I got to get in by force. <sighs> it's the only way back in, <laughs> And that's going to somewhat damage the property, but if I sell it, I can get it fixed and all that, right? <laughs> Things of that nature, right? <laughs> Minor repair work, right? <laughs> Replace the door and sell the property, right? Now that's starting to become another option here, right? <laughs> I'm not feeling very wanted in my own community, right? <laughs> I'm not feeling very much loved. <laughs> Because I have a four-year-old stepdaughter who moved in with me for maybe a day, two, four days, right? And you want to insinuate she woke me up while me and her mom were having a fight and I was sleeping on the couch, right? <laughs> That's what you're saying. <laughs> By the way, <laughs> that's all I can confess to that could have happened as well. <laughs> and that I wouldn't bring her back to her mom when she did or not, right? That I wouldn't treat it as if she was my sister either, right? And that the only reason the girl would come in there is something logical, like something to eat, drink, or potty train with grandma. <laughs> Which is why I point all that out in the stories I'm making up too, right? 
I know what I'm saying, you know. <laughs> and whoever you are, you're just a bunch of nutballs to me. You don't understand anything about male female relationships. And why if you have a fight on your way to meet the life's parents, you're in trouble to begin with. <laughs> you're walking on broken glass, as any minute says. <laughs> And you're in trouble deep, and you don't know what's wrong. <laughs> Everything the woman is using is just an excuse to make her mad with you, and you don't know what's going on, right? Why she's mad with you in the first place, right? <laughs> but you're not the one doing nothing, really, to make her that pissed off with you, and you know that, too, right? <laughs> All you're doing is trying to get home by Monday. Because... <laughs> You don't know <laughs> anything else about what your wife had planned. Because <laughs> you were stuck in Bethesda for two weeks as well. <laughs> so the first thing she wants to do is go get her daughter the weekend after you get back. <laughs> and you got to drive along with her. <laughs> and then you wind up having to take the bus home. <laughs> Have your mom wire you some money. <laughs> And this is all my fault as to why I was always too hot, right? <laughs> but okay. <laughs> None of this sounds like it ain't some kind of fight back movie to me anyway. Where I'm the star, if I'm like, right? <laughs> and you're trying to make, like, I would do all this craziness, right? Well, if I'm that far gone, why don't I just wreck into the motorcycle with a couple of... People I saw riding on it on the way home. <laughs> if I'm that far gone, <laughs> wouldn't be any different now to you, would it? <laughs> Why didn't I just get into another wreck, right? <laughs> if I'm that accident prone, Officer Martin, <laughs> or bus driver Victoria, right. whoever you are, <laughs> I don't know you personally. <laughs> <laughs> But I use the names on the accident report just like my names on the accident report too on a real person tonight. Last well, time I tricked and still alive. Okay. <laughs> now if you know another reason for someone's eye to get musically, I would like to know it too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now again, if I need to save up the moves I'll hope for it. I'm still gonna need more money. <laughs> And again, mm -hmm. damn sure ain't gonna pay the HOA any fees. No, they can't. No, they can't. <laughs> They're a HO fucking A. I don't know. You can even sue them for false <laughs> accusations. You can make them disband if you want them to. But see, I ain't worried about it. I don't know. <laughs> Because I'm exempt from their law because I have what's called a major disability in my back and ankle, which I disclosed to them. <laughs> and they can't pretend I didn't disclose it to them. <laughs> and that I'm like a normal customer, right? right. Who still is keeping up his yard, right? Though not maybe perfectly. <laughs> right. Well, I mean, right. There too, right? But rationally, right? <laughs> yeah, I got my stuff out my garage that fits in the garage anytime I want to put it up in there, right? Which the HOA rules don't say I can't do that, right? It only talks about if I can't put something in there, right? That don't fit in there, which these things do, right? <laughs> I can put them in there at any time. That's the chair, like I said, I use to sit on when I'm walking sometimes five minutes down the road. <laughs> what does that mean to you? <laughs> now, again, if I'm having new developments, though, <laughs> And say I'm having bowel movement problems. This is called irritable bowel syndrome. Right? I know. That's why I went to the VA. I'm trying to figure out if my medication right, that I'm taking is becoming too problematic for my stomach to digest it all. Right? 
See, that can be a problem too. <laughs> so what am I doing dealing with the same disability I've been dealing with off and on now since it happened in 1994? Why? Because the symptoms aren't simply going away or vanishing overnight, right? Like they would normally anyway. <laughs> or not. <laughs> Though I'm not saying I can't be healed of arthritis pain. <laughs> but I do know arthritis is the weirdest pain you can have, especially for broken bones and a right. So what is this about again? You want to argue with any points when you have none? <laughs>